All right, we got quite a bit going on, but the one that's just screaming off the page to me that I need to ask you about is that the FISA court, the, one of the judges on the FISA court, has selected a former Obama administration lawyer. He's a left-wing blogger. He's a MSNBC cable news pundit, uh, and his name is David Chris. His job will be to oversee the reforms of the FBI's surveillance practices. What are we to make of this? Well, here's the interesting thing about David Chris. Not only is he a partisan hack and a viciously vitriolic critic of Devin Nunes, he has been on the FISA court insider friend of the court list since March of 2016. So he has been present on that court while all the FISA abuses occurred. That's number one, so he should be disqualified. Number two, on March the 1st, 2018, here's what he says about the Devin Nunes memo criticizing the FISA court. He says that memo tried to deceive the American people in precisely the same way that it falsely accused the FBI of deceiving the FISA court. He says the Nunes memo was dishonest, and if it is allowed to stand, we risk significant collateral damage to essential elements of our democracy. Now, Judge James Boesberg has decided that that person should be the single most important person to review FISA abuses and the new compliance by the FBI with the new FISA rules. This not only is a joke, it is an obscenity. The fact that Boesberg picked him raises the following series of questions. What is Judge Boesberg's relationship with David Chris? Is it like the relationship that Judge Contreras had with Peter Strzok? Senator Lindsey Graham needs to get off his duff and have Judge Boesberg in front of the Senate Judiciary Committee immediately to testify about this selection. And every Republican senator needs to sign a letter to Judge Boesberg demanding that Chris be removed from this position and not be permitted. He is a partisan hack. He has accused Devin Nunes of committing crimes by writing his February 2018 memo. That memo, by the way, by Nunes, was completely verified by Michael Horowitz's Inspector General's report about FISA abuse. But Mr. Chris is a partisan. He obviously has no analytical capabilities, or he would have caught all of the FISA abuses during the years that he was working with the court. This is, this is so bad and so stupid that I agree with Nunes. This threatens the very existence of the FISA court. It shows Boesberg's arrogance and his indifference. What a disgusting performance by a federal judge. And, and I will be honest, I was shocked by this, mostly because when we did get the IG report out, it pointed out the errors that the FBI made. You had the FISA court almost kind of putting their hands up like it wasn't us. We just did, we just worked with what we were given and they made the errors. To me, this seems like the FISA court is, is not even afraid of public perception of what this means. Are, were you surprised by this move, even from a perception standpoint? absolutely surprised. I could not believe that someone like a federal judge, Judge Boesberg, could be this tone deaf. But now it's pretty clear this is not just tone deafness. This is a purposeful decision to spit in the face of the President of the United States, to spit in the face of the Republican United States Senate, and to spit in the face of Devin Nunes. This is disgusting. This must not stand. Now, this is a test, by the way, not only of Republican senators, the, the, the people, the, the Republicans in the House don't have any power, so they can't do anything. They can't call him to testify. But the Republicans in the Senate can. This is Lindsey Graham's moment. Get off his ass and issue a subpoena to this judge. This is not just an accident. This is a purposeful rebuke of the president of the United States by a sitting federal judge. Nobody who's a federal judge is that stupid and indifferent. He did this purposely as a slap in the face. By the way, it's also a slap in the face of all of us, me, my wife, Victoria Tunting, and all of us who have been analyzing this from the beginning and saying that the Carter Page warrants were all illegal and unconstitutional. What Boesberg has shown is that he doesn't care. He doesn't give a damn about the crimes that were committed. Get him off that court.
Joe, the United States senators aren't the only ones who oversee this process. You also have the chief justice of the Supreme Court above Joe, uh, above Judge Boasberg. No, could not John Roberts intercept all of this? He certainly could. And my question is, what's little Johnny been doing all this time? Yeah, well, he's also getting ready for this impeachment trial, apparently. He's got to do that in the United States Senate. But in the meantime, this is a big story and one this that— This is as big as it gets. Yeah. This, 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 I cannot emphasize enough how serious this is. This guy, Chris, is a Comey acolyte. He is a friend of James Comey. He is a friend of the people, Peter Strzok, McCabe. He knows all of his people. He worked with them. He sat on that court. Since March of 2016, as a friend of the court under the FISA rules and did nothing about these abuses, except he did do this. He supported everything that the FBI did. He wrote about it for Lawfare, the Brookings Institution, pathetic, fake Democratic blog. And in those in those writings, he supported the illegal activity of the FBI, pretending that he thought it was all legal. He didn't. He did, he knew it was illegal. This guy, Chris, should get should be nowhere near that car. And if the Republicans let this stand, if they don't demand that he be removed, 100 of them, all of them, every single Republican senator should demand that he be removed. And it should happen today. Yeah, this guy I'm, I'm, I'm seeing here, thanks to a listener who sent me this, uh, James Comey's guy, Benjamin Witts, who uh, over at Lawfare, which is that left wing legal blog, had recommend that David Chris replace Eric Holder as attorney general back in 2014. This is yes. this is obviously partisan hackery. Yes, absolutely. This is disgraceful. There's And this was not an accident. Again, I want to reiterate, Boesberg spit in the face of the president of the United States, the legal process, the FISA court. Nobody is this dumb. No federal judge is this naive. Um, let me, real quick, before we let you go, we've got about about 60 seconds left. FBI Director Chris Ray once again expressing deep regrets about the FISA court errors. He was saying that there are errors and omissions. Did you think Chris, do you think Chris Ray is doing enough? Chris Ray is an empty suit. As I have said from the day he was nominated, this man cannot reform the upper levels of the FBI. He is, he is the kind of guy who kisses fannies, gets along, to go, goes along to get along. He's always worried about his next job. Uh, he thinks that he is a pathetic leader. He has never once criticized the leadership of Comey and, his, and all of his acolytes. You cannot clean up an agency without a complete declaration of independence from the past. Chris Ray has become another dirty cop. He's an incompetent. He's been a complete failure at new leadership. And this was not errors and omissions. These were purposeful, lawless, criminal acts committed by senior FBI officials. And for Ray to think otherwise shows how unqualified he is to be the director of the FBI. Joe DeGeneva, thanks as always. We'll talk to you.